<laughs> I don't. How do you know if it's recording in the cloud though? It just. Oh, it asked me last time. Did it ask you which way it wanted to no, do it? Didn't ask me. It just said recording. Uh oh. Hopefully, it's going to the cloud because it's really hard to fix. If not, ask Josh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna hurry and share my screen. And we'll share the agenda here. Josh, I don't know if I have full rights yet because it's not giving me an option to share. Like I can see it, but it's not letting me do it. Is there a way I can sign it over to you? Well, you're the meeting host. I don't know if I'm not in anymore. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I had. You guys might just have to look at the um, agenda that I sent out already and just like follow. I've got some printed ones. Okay. Yeah, because it's like as asking, it's like telling me to, but. So when you click on share, you should see a thing at the bottom. A box will pull up and it'll ask you which window you want to share. And then you just have to hit select the window and hit share again. Yeah, it's bottom. not doing that today for some reason. I don't know why. Why is share screen? Yeah. Do you have the agenda that you want to pull okay. up on yours? Because I think I'm not host right now. I think that's the problem. Host disabled participation screen setting. So I can't even. Well, I still alive. Huh. Yeah. Normally I can. I know how to do it. It's just. Oh, here. Now it's let me. Just kidding. Here we go. Okay. All right. Can everybody see that now? No. Yes. Yeah. Now we can. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. We'll go ahead and get started. Everybody can hear me okay too? <laughs> yeah. That would be good. Okay. That would be really good. <laughs> Seriously, it would be a good lesson. Do you hey, want, Cassie, do you want... it's Terry. I just wanted to make sure you knew I was here. Yep, I can see you. Okay. Perfect. Okay, everybody yeah, can hear me you okay? <laughs> yep. could, Peter could probably teach you. Peter's pretty high tech, right, Peter? I know. Peter Peter probably knows Zoom better than I do. Okay, Troy, can I'm you guys Zoom hear me like at the office? I'm on like 90% of my day these, <laughs> these days. <laughs> that sounds miserable, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, can you guys hear me okay if we get started? Yeah, I'll tell everybody to be quiet. Okay. Who can whistle? We're just going to go over a few orders of business really quick, and then we'll go into the, our social media policy, and then Troy's going to take over and talk about the new um, lawsuit that's been against realtors that's just come out. So just a couple things of business that we need to um, talk about. If you haven't done your anti-money laundering training yet, it's the end of the month and the end of the first quarter. So if you can get that done and turned into me, I would appreciate it. Um, if you need a code or a link or anything, just email me and I'll send you that so you can get that done. We have about a handful of you that haven't finished that yet. And then we have scheduled a trip to UWM on May 21st and 22nd. And if you're planning on going or even thinking about going, um, you need to go on and register for your class right now. Even if you don't end up going, Louise said, just make sure that you get that spot so that um, we don't end up like a week before with people wanting to go and not a spot for the class. Confirmed. And and on the agenda, I put the instructions for that. You just go to grow your business and then just to set the success track. And then there's multiple classes that you can take those two days. You can only take one class while we're there. So just pick whichever one you'd like to take. Um, we have a handful of you that are still using point. If you're still using point and plan on keeping it for the month of April, I need you to go ahead and send Troy, um, Ben Mohim $35 by the end of this week so that I don't shut your point seat down. If he doesn't receive your money, a few of you have already prepaid, so I've got you marked down. But if you haven't paid and you don't pay by Friday, I'll just assume that you want your point seat shut down at that point. And last order of business is we've had a lot of people wanting to change our comp plans. We have a lot of comp plans right now that are 2% plus a flat fee to cover processing. Um, we've I've heard a lot from people in the last couple of weeks that you want to take off that flat fee for processing. Um, maybe just put in the comments whether you prefer to keep it or leave it. And we're just going to go with the majority on that. Leave it. So just comment whether you want to keep a flat fee or if you would like it removed. And then I'll work on getting those taken care of on the companies that we do have it. If the majority want us to remove it. And any other questions on those things that we just went over? Nope. Okay, everybody's good. Okay, I'm just going to cover our social media policy. 
The reason that we're going over this is because the CFPB um, holds us accountable, First Class Home Mortgage, accountable for any social media posts that are that are made from anybody that we employ. So we just want to make sure that you guys realize that as you're making those posts, that Troy will be the one that will be liable if we get audited or if they notice a post that isn't good. Um, so we just want to make sure that you're making sure that you are keeping First Class Home Mortgage's name um, a good name. So social media is any type of communication where you generate and share contact through text, images, and audio or video. So that can be any that can be a lot of different forms that you guys are using right now to advertise. So just make sure that you're aware of that. Um, the biggest thing is we just want to make sure that you are when you're making these posts that you are keeping the reputation of first class home mortgage in mind. And that when you make a post or make a comment that it is, it relates to business products and services that it has the guidelines and standards that we would like to see as a company so that we are keeping our reputation high. Um, so you guys are responsible for making your post, but if you are going to make posts, we would like for you to get those approved through Troy or I just to make sure that we are covering all our bases as far as audit and everything goes. Um, make sure, and I would also like, if you could, if you would just all either email me or put in the chat, any social media, like websites that you guys have right now that you're using for business, just so that we have those for auditing purposes too. Um, like you're, if you have a person, oh, was that a question? Email her. She, people that are here, can they'll just email you. Yeah, you can email me. Yeah. Just email me what sites you're using that way. I'll just have them on a list for auditing purposes if we need them. Um, and just make sure, like in things. January's, like our own website. Yeah. So websites or social media sites. Social media. We're talking about social media today. I do still need a lot of you guys' websites. I've only had like a handful of you email your websites too. So if you have a website that you're advertising on, like on a regular basis, we do need a copy of that too. Um, I totally lost my train of thought here. Oh, just make sure that when we sent out the guidelines for advertising in January. Those also apply to social media. So just make sure that you're checking your, your um, advertisements for social media with those guidelines that we sent out so that we make sure that they've got all of the right components. The biggest components are they need to have your NMLS, our NMLS, the equal credit opportunity um, logo needs to be on all of them. Those are the biggest things they're looking at when they're auditing those. So just make sure those three things are on there. That's in our, that's in our uh, info. Area? Your bio, yeah. Your bio, yeah, and your bio, yep. How do you get that logo in your bio on Instagram? Like, I can put equal housing opportunity, but I, I just you put the logo. I would just re I would just recommend that you make a post of just the equal housing lending logo every once in a while, at least maybe once a month. Just okay. put it in there. So, because it's got to be readily readily available. So, if you scroll down and it's buried five hundred posts below, then that's probably not compliant. If it's, okay. if it's you know well, we all have pictures <clears throat> on our social medias can we can we just add the yeah people has pictures you probably could that's a good idea that sounds like a good idea to me it's just add it as part of your pictures like i'll that. also reach yeah, out to that. our compliance team and just ask them like what they would recommend for how to put that logo on that's our part. social media sites and then i'll send an email out to everybody i'm trying to find to see if i can find um, one of the other guidelines that we have for social media is that when you are having, making posts that you refrain from like offering advice or counsel on social media, um, that could turn into an auditing mess if we ever, if they ever got audited. Um, and I think just the, the other thing that we should make sure is we're not mimicking or branding any other company, um, so that we don't create consumer confusion. So we make sure that we're just branding and mimicking either a lot of ULOs have your own branding, but also first math, first class home mortgage and not anyone else's. And I think that's all for social media. I put the, I attached okay. the whole policy to the um, email that I sent out yesterday. So you can read the whole thing. I figured that's easier than me reading it all to you. Um, does anybody have any questions? Could yeah. you send it to us? It's so tiny you, to read now. Oh, yeah. Susan, I sent it yesterday in an email with the agenda. Oh. It was attached to the agenda that I, or to the email that I sent out yesterday. Okay. 
So now we'll just turn the time over to Troy to talk about this new this new lawsuit and I'll scroll down to that. Okay, guys, I, there's been a lot of, uh, I guess, bad press regarding the the $400, $400 million um, settlement that uh, National Association of Realtors, NAR, had uh, just completed. Um, you know, obviously, the biggest takeaways are, I don't believe it's really going to change business much at all. Buyer's agents are still going to get paid. The biggest issue you're going to see is they're going to be disclosures up front rather than, you know, after the fact about the buyer's ag um, agreement. We've, um, For example, the M MLS here in Utah is one of the 23 states that has always had a buyer's agreement on the MLS, and it's always been signed. But the problem is they want them signed up front. Um, obviously, MLS no longer is going to say BAC 3% or BAC 2.5%. It's not going to be inside the MLS anymore. Uh, so that uh, that's going to have to be negotiated, you know, but it's, you know, my personal opinion is, is the home price has always baked in a listing agents commission and a buyer's agent commission. It's always been baked in the, the price of the home. Uh, obviously, sometimes we have been able to get some seller concessions for the loan officer closing costs, but most of the time they take care of the buyer's agent and the listing agent. Mm -hmm. Um so we'll definitely see a little bit of that change um, as as the as it goes forward. We're going to probably see some some different ways they're going to probably work it out. Maybe they'll just say, "Hey, there's you know nine percent in commissions, and that can be used towards closing costs, buyers agents, sellers agents." You you may see that, but you know the home prices are have always included all that, and so I think we're fine um, as far as uh, as buyers agents. Uh, there's been, you know, a lot of other lawsuits, the copycat lawsuits that, you know, Keller Williams paid out a whole bunch of money. Uh, a lot of other, um, real estate agents have paid out a lot of money to settle these, these cases. Uh, but, uh, my personal opinion is, is, is in July business will be just as, as, uh, you know, as usual. I mean, we all went through this as the lender, we went through trid and Dodd-Frank and all that. And, you know, Honestly, we're still doing business and it really didn't affect us that much. The biggest thing is, is, is realtors are now going to have to disclose their commissions up front. And I think that's probably going to your, be your biggest change you'll see. Any questions on that? I agree with you completely. They're, they're going to have to have them sign a piece of paper right from day one before you go see houses. Yeah, buyer, they're going to take, they're going to, I mean, there's always been this in Utah, there's always been a, a buyer's agreement, but most of the time it's not signed until after they've made an offer. Now it's going to have to be signed out front. You have to sign it before you even enter. Yep. 100%. Rick, did you say something? Yeah, it's not going to change the way we do business. And any seller that doesn't want to pay a commission to a buyer's agent is going to hurt themselves. So nothing changes. You know, we just go and do business as we've been doing it. Yeah, yeah, really it. 100%. Um, I wanted to talk a little about, change subject a little bit to what's working, what's not. Has anybody closed the 1% down program yet? Has anybody? Anybody mm -hmm. changed 1% down? Kent has. Kent's done like two of them. And I've done them what, too. What city? Uh, you, um, Ogden, Ogden. Okay, I, I haven't seen one that actually works, so that's good to know that that uh, that it actually works. Uh, Washington Federal just came out with their one percent down program, but it looks very similar to everybody else's. It still has AMI, um, so there's still going to be income restrictions on that one too. So I don't see it being any different. Um, that's you know AMIs are a really big issue because I, I've got a deal in in uh, San Francisco. I've been working on for two months now. I can't get the deal closed because their AMI is $180,000. Well, you know, if you don't make it more than $180,000 in San Francisco, guess what? You don't buy a house. So it's a, you know, these 1% down programs, um, <laughs> you'd be homeless. <laughs> and so, yeah, so they're, they're difficult. And I just want to know if anybody else closed them, but it sounds like we've had three of them closed. That's good. Um, 
Well, I know that UWM said that program goes away the end of March, though. They just extended, <clears throat> they just extended it. Matt extended it today on his his little his little teams meeting. I didn't think the program was going away. I, it was he pro he, elite, right? You have to be pro elite in order to to have it. But he just extended it, so that's so that one percent program still out there. Has anybody had any success with down payment assistant programs? Any of the ones that are working, not working? Is anybody closing any of these Utah housing ones? Wait, 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 Troy, the extension to May is for everyone, not just pro elite. That's what the extension was about. That they had extended it to May thirty first for mm -hmm. everyone and the announcement mm -hmm. is that they're extending it to everyone through may 31st not just march 31st and the places i closed them were um uh uh oh what is it outside of boise idaho it's just outside of boise and then the That's other good. one is um andrew mccarr let me tell you where it was mm -hmm. um salt lake city 84102 downtown 250 wow. 700 east Wow. So that's where those got closed. That's good to know because I know that uh, I've looked several times. They don't ever seem to work. Um, what about uh, Utah Housing? Who's closed the Utah Housing deal? I just phone last week with the Bill and Josh, both. Yeah. Wow. You guys close them all with PRMG? Yeah. PRMG. Do we have another option? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering if there is. I, yeah. PRMG is, is okay for those. Yeah. yeah, I think we do have one other company that works with Utah Housing, but I can't remember who it is right now. Yeah. If there is one, well, now that I know how to do, yeah, we need at least three weeks. Now that I know how to do it, isn't it, isn't it that they're supposed to be qualified for Utah Housing? Now that I know how to do it, I can make sure that. I, but the I, income limitations are tough, right? You do, it's AMI. Is it AMI income limit on that one? No. The, for the twenty thousand, yeah, no, you can be above Steve. as long as it's new. The home can't be over a price of four fifty, right? So, but yeah, has has anybody done the Davis County fifty thousand? I haven't seen one fund with that yet. According to their website, you can actually stack the Utah housing. Like I'm, I'm actually putting one together right Wait, now. Are you serious? You can, well, but it, but it says housing. you cannot have more than twenty thousand dollars in your account either. Right. I mean, you can stack the Utah house. You can stack the Utah housing grant with that fifty thousand. And so you could, depending on the price, feasibly like get in with twenty percent down. If the seller will pay, if I'm, the seller will pay, I'm not doing a Utah housing that pays one percent and going to the trouble of having both a second grant. One and a half percent. One and a half percent. Well, not for the first one. Yeah, not for the first one. First one was one percent. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can we? Yeah. Can we switch the topic for one second again? Yes. No. So on the um chat, mm -hmm. we have both yes and no for the flat fee. So do we need to pick a company where we have a flat fee, and then a company where we don't have a flat fee because it's like 50 50 Well, Kind Lending versus UWM. Who wants the flat fee for UWM versus Kind? Yeah. I think we have flat fees other places too that I could get removed, but those are the two that we're probably using the most. Oh, UWM, because we have the 2% plus 500. So yeah, both UWM and Kind Lending are 2% plus 500. Um, is, the is, only that, is that becoming a problem? Is it a problem? Why doesn't somebody just switch to borrow or pay if they need? With that's that's what I do if there's a problem. <laughs> yeah. There you go, John. You just switch to borrow pay. No, I'm serious. Is, that, is there a reason why people aren't just switching to borrow pay? That's pay my pay? vote in the chat. Is that we just leave it the same? I'm getting in the chat that we leave UWM the same. Okay. But nobody said anything about kind. Kind was the one we were having issues with yesterday. Why couldn't they go borrow or pay though? That's the question. Leave it at kind too, please. That's a good question. <laughs> Those of you that are asking for it to be removed, is there a reason why you don't want to go borrow or paid? <laughs> I'm not getting any responses from anybody. What, is, what, <laughs> what does Stephanie <laughs> said? I can't read that. Hang on. 
You know, well, Stephanie's I can't read Stephanie's either. Stephanie's talking about the um 50% down payment in Davis County, and she just highlighted and said that um and or up to 50% of the required down payment and closing costs. Um, as far as kind and the, the extra fee, the only time I usually go lender paid is on a smaller right. loan. So then when you add that That's in, you have, have a compliance out. issue. And um, yeah, you just um, you have you just have to go borrower paid. And that's that is what I do now, but um I just can't ever yeah. go lender paid in those circumstances because it just it's not compliant. Absolutely. And, and I, that's the issue we were having yesterday is it was yeah. failing compliance yeah. with the processing fee. On yeah, that's how you get around it. You just go yeah. borrow yeah. paid, but you just do whatever you know, it to do. The only time I know we can't do borrow or pay for a solution is on the streamline. Correct. And that's but why that's we have mega, a mega capital. We have a point and a half lender comp plan specifically for VA and FHA streamlines right. and jumbo mega capital, right. which is um, Wait, that's Smith. one and a half, right? One and a half. Mark Smith, Mega Capital is one and a half. Works great for FHA, VA streamlines, and Jumbo. And oh, on that note that you mentioned oh. VA, back to the NAR ruling, VA loans, they cannot pay their own commissions. So now vets have to buy a home where the seller's paying the buyer's um, commission or compensation. And that's unfair, I think. And that's being addressed. And I went to a couple of realtor meetings and they also said that what they're hoping for is that government programs or programs will allow the buyer compensation to be added to the loan, much like a government fee is added to the loan now. I bet but, they would like that, wouldn't they? One, one other thing I want to highlight is the um, buy before you sell program. Uh, Tracy Evans um, over at the loan store, she has that the buy before you sell program. Have you done one? I have not done one. Have you done one? No, Closed no. one? Did you actually close it? Yeah. I mean, how was it? Oh. Good? Yeah, it was cool. It, uh, She's our lunch and learn for next month in April. She's going to do the lunch and learn. The thing that I learned about it is you do have to have a lien on the property. So if it's all free and clear, it does not work. But then you'd have to switch it over to Washington Federal's cross collateralization or bridge loan if it does not have a lien on the on the other property. That's rough. That one's rough. I've closed one though, Have and it was you? pretty cool. Yeah, because the guy literally bought a million dollar house with sixty grand. That's awesome. Yeah, I've got one going right now because I had to switch it out What's the, from Tracy to Washington Fed. We're going to offer eighty percent ish. What kind of the Washington Fed? And then they'll. Uh, it's your, you just it, there's no the comp plan. Um, you just you will charge back. whatever you want. Everything's up front yeah. on Washington Federal, though it's not lender paid. It's like a borrower yeah, paid loan, so everything's yeah. up front. They're just a portfolio lender. You just have to do it old school. And then they do the like literally old school on. Okay, Troy, tell me who's in the office right now. Kurt Jensen, Lance, okay. Phil, Brandon, Matt, new guy, okay. <laughs> Steve Jones. Troy, who's in the restroom? Oh, Deloitte. Deloy. Deloy had butter. Yeah. Okay. Did I miss anybody? <laughs> um, and on on Zoom, I've got someone listed as owner. <laughs> Who has your account listed as owner? What? On Zoom, I have someone listed as owner. That's got to be. Is it you? And I don't know who that is. What? Is that your account, Josh? And I don't know. It's Jen Clayton. Jen Clayton? Okay. Yeah, Thanks. I me. wasn't sure who that was. Okay. All right. Does anybody have any like questions or concerns we want to discuss? Can you recap uh, what we need us to send you real fast? Just for social well, media, just send me anyway, this. But maybe not that fast. But <laughs> just send me the sites that you are using for social media. You can just email them oh, to I, me. Um, just so I have a list of them for if we ever get audited or when we get audited, I, I need to stop saying if, cause I know it's going to happen at some point. So, and, and, uh, share the Utah or the equal housing logo. opportunity logo. Yeah. And I'll reach out to our people. compliance team to see yeah. who, how they would suggest that we post that on social media. And then I'll, I'll send an email out to everyone. And I, I haven't, question. what was that? Yeah. Oh, I just have a quick question for the group. When you have a second. Yeah. Um, who who do you guys like for fixed seconds? I've got a good list of HELOCs, but who's doing well with fixed seconds? 
Uh, did one with Spring EQ. Spring IQ. Actually, the the loan store was simple, easy on a on a second. I mean, they don't West. Like don't don't West does good store. job. <laughs> Don't go I have to the loan store. West. No, yeah. I'm just telling you the loan store sucks for paperwork and we're going to get audited and you're going to get you're it's you're going to be in trouble because they have no paperwork. <laughs> it's Cameron. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, Cassie, I have a question. Okay, what's your question, Susan? Okay, it's not related to this meeting, yeah. but I, uh, well, I like I, I, training I, on more into that. <laughs> it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, I am you're cutting yeah. out on me, Susan. <laughs> Tell her to email you. Email you. I, do you want to email uh, me your question, Susan? Sure, I can do that. Okay, do that because you're cutting out. I can't hear you. Do you want to have everybody share what's working, Troy? For this Anybody month? else want to say what's working? What's going really good right now? M West is good. For what? Seconds. <laughs> M West. Okay, that's good. Are you doing fixed seconds or HELOCs? <laughs> fixed. Okay. Yeah, Greg. Hey, Troy, your group's kind of noisy in the background. There. I know it's really hard to hear everybody. Let's, Troy, let's you need to make mute, them quiet. Can you mute me? They're eating tacos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody else have anything they want to share that's been working this month? We've had a really great month. Um, one of the biggest ones we've had for a while. So, anybody have any tricks or tips they want to share? They're all quiet. You know, I think I think direct mortgage is pretty good. You know, I don't do loans in Utah with your company, but um, I've done well with uh, Josh Juarez. I mean, he'll take the plane and he'll even land it for you. That's he's, awesome. He's very good, Josh. Are you using him for first or for seconds or for both? Oh, uh, first liens. Okay, that's I've good. I've probably to know. done six or seven already with Josh this year. Okay. Yeah. So that's one that we haven't, we're, we're still brokered with them, but nobody's using them right now. So that's good to know. Yeah. We are I, still approved. Carrie just asked if we're still approved. We are still approved with them, Carrie. Yeah. We did change the comp plan to two and a half percent though um, for, for Rick. So if you do it there, the comp plan is two and a half percent. But I'll tell you, you know, just the way you price it, you know, if you just, if you do it lender paid and, and, just say, hey, you know, I charge two points on borrower paid, but here I can go lender paid and I'll just put up whatever it is. If it's point and a half or 0.75, you're going to end up, they're going to, wow, that's cheaper. Yeah, do that. And then you get your two and a half. Yeah. So I, I would definitely play around with that so you can make more money. Okay. Anybody else have anything else they want to bring up or they're worried about? Um, I didn't get the last compliance meeting sent out by email because I'm a rookie at, at Zoom and I recorded it on my computer and it's huge. Okay. So I still need to figure out how to condense it so I can send it out. I had a couple emails about that this morning. I will work on that and get it sent out. And um, Louis hasn't sent me his PowerPoint. So I will reach out to him today and get that so we can send it from the last lunch and learn. Um, other than that, I don't think I have heard of anything else. Carrie's asking we can split the commission between yield and origination. Are you asking about from direct, Carrie? Do you want to unmute and ask your question? I'm not sure what. I don't see her on here. Carrie yeah, he says yes. Okay, go ahead and unmute and then just ask your question because I'm not quite sure what you're asking there. No, you can't do reverse. that. And it's old. Yes, that's what I was asking. Because I thought that's what that guy just said, is that you could do one and a half and then a half on an origination. I'm like, I thought you could only do that if you were on the retail side. No, he was. I think he was saying he just offers his borrowers. He can. He says he'll either go borrower paid at two or lender paid at two and a half, I think is what he was saying. And we oh, switched it to that because nobody's used direct mortgage in, I can't even tell you how long, at least a year. And he uses it a lot. So we just switched it for him. Um, but I just want to make you aware of it. If anybody else wants to use it, that we did switch it to the two and a half percent. 
you know, and they're, they're I, used, they're, I used to use them a lot, but I ha I've stopped using them when I came over to first class, but I don't two and a half. That's crazy. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Yeah. Because you make more money, but, um, I don't know. I have no problem making two and a half per loan, but you know, it's I up to I you. you know? go over two. I'm sorry. What? You can't go over know. two here. Because we set our comp. I thought our comps were already set. We can we can change our comp plans to be higher than 2%. Um, we just set them at two to be competitive with the market. Because most you know, of the we, other brokers here are at you know, 2%. You know, Cassie, one thing that we did over at Vintage is like we're two and a quarter in Utah, but we're two and a half in any other state. So you can do that. So to help your people in Utah, if you wanted to go lower and maybe just leave it out of state two and a half. Okay. Then it wouldn't hurt. That anybody. would be awesome. I would use, I would go back to using direct if it was 2%. J Josh is wonderful. He really is. And I'm, I, I, I put a lot of pressure on him too, but he's awesome. Yeah. Okay. We'll look at that. We'll look at making sure that it's um competitive for everybody. I'll reach out to the rep there and see what our options are. Troy, you have anything else? Do you want to unmute? You're good? Okay. Thank you everyone for attending. If you have any questions, just email Troy or I and um, go ahead and send me your social media sites via email, if you will. And it, and I we're still split on the oh, whole well, taking off the flat fee. So I don't know. I okay, don't know what to say. Tacos, taco Wednesday. We'll see you guys next uh, month. Okay. Sounds good. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks, Thank man. you very much. Right. See ya. Thank you.